All right, guys, so in this video, we are going to look at the um, idea of solving a permutation problem using recursion. So what is the permutation problem? The permutation problem from a very high level is really simple, and all it says is uh, given a string S. So let's have a string S which contains A, B, and C. What I'm asking you is take the string S, feed it, through a function, feed it through a function, and the function is that what you're supposed to write right now. And let's call this function permutation. Permutation. And what you need to do is um, when you feed the string s to your function called permutation, you're going to give him back, you're going to give him back a list. You're going to give him back a list. You're going to give him back a list which is going to contain all possible permutations of the given string. S. So what are all possible permutations for the given string S in this example? So I'm going to get, uh, so let's say for ABC, one permutation is ABC. The other permutation could be BAC. Third could be BCA. And then I could have ACB. Then I could have CAB and then the last one would be C, B, and A. So this is the idea. This is a high-level idea. What I'm asking you is to write this. If, is to write this function. Is to write this function, which actually is going to be recur. You're going to use recursion for this. You're going to use recursion. You're going to use recursion to write this function. Okay. So given this, given this idea, given this problem. How are you going to even use recursion here? How are you going to use recursion to solve this problem? All right, so let's, let's, let's write a string again. Let's write a string again, and I'm just going to use a different color here. So maybe, I don't know, let's use orange. So if I have my string A, B, and C, that's my original problem. My original problem is given the string A, B, C of length, of length 3, so remember, this is of length 3. So my problem size, my problem size n is 3, right? n is nothing but the length, the length of my string s. Now the first fundamental idea is that if I'm going to use recursion, if I'm going to use recursion, I must ensure that this problem size of n is going to get reduced. It's going to get reduced at every recursive step. That's the first idea. And the second idea is that as I'm getting this problem size reduced, I must hit, I must hit some terminating base class, which can be solved non-recursively. Okay, so if this is the original problem of size 3, what I could do is my recursion, my recursion could be that uh, to get the permutations of my string ABC, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into two pieces. Let's say my first piece is in this blue, and the second piece is in this green. And all I'm going to say now is, all I'm going to say now is that to get the permutation, to get the permutation on this entire string ABC, the solution to that is going to be, first I'm going to get all possible permutations for the string BC. All right, so if I take this blue part, which is a smaller problem, and if I can somehow get all the permutations, if I can get somehow all the permutations, for the string BC, all right? I still haven't shown you the solution here, but I'm just making an assumption. I'm just making an assumption here that if I can get all the possible permutations for the string BC, which is going to be what? Is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to the list BC and CB. Remember, the permutations for the string BC is just BC and CB. If I can somehow get this list of all possible permutations of a substring BC, then the original problem of getting all possible permutations for the string ABC is somehow going to be somehow going to be this idea. I'll take first BC from here. I'll take first BC. All right. And what I'm going to do with BC is I'm going to first position my 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 character a i'm just going to place a at the very start okay so that's a b c then i'll take my string b c again and i'm going to position b 
and C in this fashion, but I'm not going to take my A and I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take my BC and position A at the very, very end. Okay, so see what I've done here. I've taken the first permutation of my string BC, which is BC itself, and I'm positioning A at the very at the very top and then sorry not at the very top but at the very start here and then I'm positioning it somewhere in the middle and then I'm going to position it right at the end and I'm going to use the same idea I'm going to use the same idea for my second permutation CB so if I take CB if I take CB and if I can position A at the very start and then if I can position a at the middle so if that's CB and if I can take A and position it right in the middle and then if I can take CB and position A at the very end look at what has happened here what has happened here is that by positioning A at the very start and the very middle and at the very end for all the permutations of the smallest string I have now got back, I have now got back, I have now got back all possible permutations for the original string A, B, C. All possible permutations for A, B, C is right inside this green cloud here. A, B, C, B, A, C, B, C, A, A, C, B, C, A, B, C, B, A, which is exactly what matches this output that I was originally trying to get that. Okay, so this is I'm just one way to do this video is give you a very very high level intuition even without getting into the into the Python Python's code base. I'm giving an intuition here that I've taken my original problem of size three. I have reduced it to a problem of size two. Remember, this is a smaller problem of size two here. This blue string BC is a smaller problem of size two. And somehow, if I can get all the possible permutations for my string BC, right, I can then take I can then just iterate. I can just go across the first permutation BC, position my A, my, my very first character of my original string ABC, which happens to be A, position it in a very, very specific sequence here at the very start, in the middle, and at the end, and do the same process again for the second for the second permutation of my smaller string BC, and that will result that will result in the original problem that I was trying to solve for the string ABC. In the next video, we're going to take this idea and we're going to start putting this into 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 Python and see how I can come up with a with a recursive solution.